Okay, picture this. It's 1850, California gold rush. Prospector walks into a bar, throws a sack of gold on the counter. He just struck it rich. Says to the bartender, give me the best you got. Bartender says, I got oysters from San Francisco Bay. I got bacon just came in over the Sierras. I got eggs from right around the farm right next door here. And he makes them a Hangtown fry. Well, it's not much of a joke. But maybe there was a place called Hangtown, and maybe that's how this sort of omelet, scrambled eggy thing of bacon and oysters came about. That's the story, anyway. It's a fine dish, a wonderful use for pre-shucked oysters, really good combination of flavors, and uh, I like to add shiitake mushrooms, too, so you get the crisp, salty bacon, the sort of crispy, spongy shiitakes, the oysters, which get fat and plumpy, nice, soft, curdled eggs, and some parsley to boot. Very straightforward, very simple. Here we go. A little oil just to grease the machinery here, prime the pump, because we're going to put bacon in there, so clearly have enough grease or enough fat. I would use either good slab bacon cut into chunks, or if you have sliced bacon as I do here, big pieces, and let them get good and crisp. And that's going to flavor these shiitakes. So shiitakes, which look like that, come with a stem. You don't want the stem. And they're going to need a little salt, even though we've got bacon in here. So a couple slices of bacon. It's not a huge bacon dish. A little bit of shiitakes, a couple of oysters per person. It's like a simple late, late night supper. Ah, nice. Kind of thing you might make if you were running a bar and a guy came in and said, make me something. In the old days, anyway. So I'm going to add the oysters. We just want them to plump up. They don't take long at all, the oysters. A minute or two. Bunch of parsley. Good pinch of salt. Some pepper. So now, let's look at the pan. Nicely cooked bacon, crisp but not burnt. Browned, cooked through shiitakes. Plumped up oysters. And we start the eggs in the cold pan. Or not cold, but off the heat. We want a nice, soft scramble here. So, on the heat. When I see curds form, I'm coming back off the heat with this. Watch. See it's starting to curd. Take it off. Let it cook for a little bit, cool off. What you want is as many small, tiny curds, still moist, as you can get, as opposed to one big clump of egg. This is what scrambled eggs should look like. Soft. Small curds, beautifully creamy. You might call that wet. It's a little bit wet, but that is done. Got to get them off the heat. Where is my plate? Quick! You can see the individual curds. You don't want just a great big clump here. The mushrooms crisp, nicely brown. The bacon is in there, gorgeous. Plump oysters, the beautiful yellow eggs flecked with parsley. Not exactly diner food, but it's close. So the prospector takes a bite, says, delicious. Mm -hmm.